Well, I think that there are at least three key points from the MIPIM this year. One is ESG, obviously, that's what we have seen. Then this banking crisis that have, people have been talking a lot about, that is the financing still available and uh, at what cost? And the third one is really that are investors coming back to the market and when uh, do we see the sellers and buyers matching the, the yields? Uh, but, uh, you know, that is really the key question for the future because it's been a pretty quiet uh, first quarter of the year. We have been trying to push uh, uh, these uh, new funds uh, in Germany and elsewhere uh, uh, having the first launches and uh, this uh, Putin's evil war has delayed uh, investors' decisions. So we are really trying to push those uh, uh, forward uh, during this year. And also we have won some very nice uh, new, new mandates. Uh, so we have roughly 1.8 billion euros of, of tri powder, non decreasing tri powder to be invested across the Europe in the Nordics and Germany and uh, pan-European wise as well. So those are our main strategies. And uh, of course, then we have the Singaporean REIT, uh, uh, Cromwell Singapore European REIT. And uh, that is really doing a lot of developments this year. And uh, we need to sell some assets, uh, older assets uh, away from the uh, other assets from the from portfolio uh, to recapitalize and uh, recycle the equity so that we can we can uh, complete those, uh, those interesting developments in Italy, Czech and Slovakia and so forth. ESG is all over the places and uh, we have invested ourselves quite a lot for that. We have hired more ESG people in, into our organization. And what I would like to see in the future that we are not talking about how much AUM you are managing, but how much embodied carbon you are managing. That is uh, kind of changing the thinking and uh, I think that should be the idea for the whole industry. And I think the wooden, building, wooden buildings will and other sustainable uh, assets will, will play a key role there. It's not only operational ESG, it's also in body carbon and those other decisions when you do what you do when, before you start a development project. So ESG is uh, here to stay and, uh, and we, are, we are really really pushing that forward ourselves as well.